This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a clip light switch using Arduino, a sound sensor, one channel relay module, and a 110 or 220 volt AC bulb. Guys, I'm perfectly sure that almost 90% of electronics hobbyists, designers and programmers might have essentially designed a clip switch in the start. I myself when I was doing my engineering degree, I designed a clip light switch after learning basic electronics and at that time I really felt thrilled and so ecstatic. You will come across so many projects related to Arduino clip switch or Arduino clip on clip of light switch while some people tend to control light through the usage of a single clip or double clips purely through the application of electronic circuits by means of using triple five timer ic so it totally depends on you whether you want to use a programmable controller board like arduino or you plan to design a clip switch using only electronic components if you go with a purely electronic circuit, then as a beginner, future modifications will be very hard for you as you will have to solder and desolder different electronic components. And obviously, if you go with the Arduino, then you will only have to make changes in the code. Today, I will practically demonstrate how an inefficient clip switch can be converted into an efficient clip switch only by adding a few lines of code. Anyway, without changing the hardware, we can control a light using one clip. We can also control the same light using two clips and we can also control light by using 10 or ever larger number of clips. How can this be possible? I will explain it to you in programming. So what I want to say is that it depends on you. How many clips do you want to use to turn on or turn off the light switch? Controlling a light or any other electrical load with one clip or two clips isn't really hard But the challenging part is how to make it efficient Well for this purpose I have written two codes the first one is a simple code without the use of a timer and Then in the other code I have added a timer I will practically test it and you will see the difference by yourself if you design a single clip or two clips light switch without using a timer, it will turn out to be too inefficient. And I'm saying this based on my personal experience because I performed some experiments. I designed a light switch without using a timer, which could turn on or off owing to any random sound. Therefore, I was completely unsatisfied. Then I used a timer. And my one clip light switch and two clips light switch became effectual to a great extent. Through this Arduino clip switch, you are able to control any AC or DC load. As a beginner, you can start with a small LED or you can use any small DC motor or you can control 110 or 220 volt AC light just like me. Guys, if you want to use 110 or 220 volt AC, pay due attention to the safety factor because such a high voltage can even lead to fatal incidents. Protective gloves are necessary to be worn while using 110 or 220 volt AC. Otherwise, while conducting such experiments, somebody must accompany you as a precaution. Let's now move on to start our practical demonstration. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. 
Git real-time component insights is you designed with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, GAID models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. First, I'm going to start by controlling this light using a single clip without using a timer. As you can see, I have powered up the Arduino and I have also connected 220 volt AC. Remember, never touch the relay contacts with the 220 volt AC is connected. You can see that we can turn the light on or off with the help of a single clip. However, I'm not going to recommend a single clip light switch because it is liable to turn on or off through any random sound. So the programming of a single clip light switch is pretty easy. However, it does not prove to be as efficient at all. Now let me demonstrate a single clip light switch with a timer. <coughs> now you can see how easily we can convert an inefficient type clip switch into an efficient clip switch through the application of a timer. You can even use a single clip light switch in your room and it is supposed to work perfectly well. Its programming has been undertaken in such a fashion that Arduino monitors clip duration with the help of a timer. And besides this, it also counts clips. So in case there are more than two clips, the light will not turn on or off. Now let me demonstrate a two clips light switch. You can see that it is the same circuit. However, I have carried out some modifications in its programming. I've also used a timer this time round, which counts clips. And besides this, it also monitors the duration between any two clips. When the first clip is detected and after this the second clip is also detected after a certain duration then the light will turn on or off if you take just one clip and keep a relatively large interval in the second clip then the light will not turn on or off so you can see how we can successfully design an efficient clip switch by means of using arduino and a sound sensor This two clip light switch seems quite practical to me because it is not affected and it does not turn on or off by any random sound. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. In the above circuit diagram, I have an Arduino, a sound sensor KY037, a relay module, and a 110 or 220 volt AC bulb. I connected the digital output of the KY037 with the digital pin D2 of the Arduino Nano. The sensor itself has an LED that lights up when sound is detected. The ground and VCC pins of the sound sensor are connected with the ground and 5 volt pins of the Arduino. Similarly, 
I connected the relay module N pin with the Arduino Nano D13 pin. For powering up the relay module, I used the external 12 volt DC power supply. The positive wire of the supply is connected with the relay module's VCC and the ground wire is connected with the ground. Make sure the ground wire of the 12 volt power supply is also connected with the ground of the Arduino. A neutral wire from the 220 volt AC supply is connected directly with the bulb while the live wire from the 220 volt AC supply is connected with the normally open contact of the relay module. Whereas the common contact of the relay module is connected with the other terminal of the bulb. So by turning on and turning off the relay module, the bulb can be turned on and turned off. Since we are using a relay, so we can use any load. It can be an AC load or it can be a DC load. Make sure the load current rating does not exceed the relay contacts current carrying capacity. By the way, the type of relay I'm using is of the type SPDD, single pole and double throw. Now let's take a look at the programming. I simply started off by defining the pins to which sound sensor and relay modules are connected. I also defined a variable for storing the relay status. Inside the setup function, I activated the serial communication for debugging purposes. I set the sensor is input and relay is output using the pen mode functions. Now the actual code is inside the loop function which runs repeatedly. So first I read the relay pin status if it's on or off and store it in the variable relay underscore status. Next I check if any sound is detected then toggle the relay pin. I'm telling you one more time this code is very inefficient but as a beginner, you can start with this code. Now let's take a look at the code of one clip light switch using a timer. I modified my previous code and I also defined some other variables. The code inside the setup function remains unchanged. First we store the sensor status. For this we use the digital read function. The type of the sound sensor I'm using gives zero when sound is detected and gives one when no sound is detected. This first if condition checks if the sound is detected. Zero means sound. So if the sound is detected, then the Arduino checks if clip is also zero. Then the Arduino starts counting the milliseconds using the millis function. These milliseconds are stored in a variable clip underscore start and clip underscore range. And at the same time, the clip is also incremented. If clip is already greater than zero and millis minus clip underscore range greater than or equal to 50, then store the current millis function value in clip underscore range. And at the same time, we also increment the clip variable. Then these other if conditions checks the time duration and the number of clips. So if at the same time duration, only one clip is detected, then turn on the relay, otherwise turn off the relay and store zero in clip variable. Now let's take a look at the code of two clips light switch. This code is 99% similar to the one clip light switch code. The only difference is, is this time I'm controlling the light using two clips. So that's why this time I'm using if clip equals equals two and that's it. Now you can easily modify this code to control a light using more than two clips. You can download these codes from programmingdigest.com. I will provide a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs>